All right, Brandon Wallaka's first power parachute ride. Let's see if I can get him out of the sun just a little. There we go. That's better. Nice morning. Uncle Dennis there and son Johnny's over there. So we're ready for takeoff. doing more than 30 miles an hour so how fast, how fast can these go well it, this will only go one speed because it, the throttle just goes up and down but uh, the chute is designed to fly at 30 miles an hour I see. all right we're going to turn out here for pictures lake north traffic power parachute 905 lima is uh entering downwind for runway 24 lake north So we'll fly back over here by Uncle Dennis, by your dad, and we'll let him get a picture. All right. We'll slow her down just a bit. We're still climbing. So right about here, we're about a uh, straight and level flight. I'd be curious to see what our ground speed is. Pretty smooth. Turn out here. 
Yeah, Brandon, try to bring that mic a little closer to you. Then you won't have so much of the engine noise. Right there? Yeah, that's better. Okay. Ah, it's beautiful. Yeah, you're about about 310 feet, so you know you're about 200 feet above the trees. Wow. You know, so this thing you typically fly about you know 500 feet and below. You know, for the most part, this thing's a nice low flyer because you're going so slow, and if you do have a problem, it it sinks very slow. So you know, I try to stay around that. 350, 400, and you know, that's fun. That makes it a nice, fun, slow ride. You can see all the details on the ground. Yeah. You know, it's, people, you know, when you get into a plane, you gotta fly, you know, 6,000 feet in the air and whatnot. Yeah. But this also, too, what limits this is, uh, you know, you get a little bit of, uh, turbulence as the day wears on. You can't fly it during the middle of the day. You know, as the wind picks up, it blows the chute around and you're suspended. You're So you're like a ball on a string. So you, can, you fly it early in the morning and you fly it in the evenings. Uh, you know, and there's some days you can fly during the middle of the day, but most of the time I tell people this is a morning and evening, especially if you're new because it'll bounce around. It's no fun when <laughs> you're getting bounced around. Yeah. See, I'm already starting to feel some of the turbulence uh, as the uh, sun starts to warm the ground and the air that's up above sinks down during the day, so you get faster winds above and it sinks down slowly. Oh. But anyway, you know, you enjoy the hour or so you get on the unit, two hours sometimes, you know. But, so anyway, here's some cool stuff to look at. So, there's a beaver dam. Uh, let's see here if you can see it. Yeah, you see it right there, that little line across the river? Yeah. That's a beaver dam. There's a couple of them out here, actually. Wow. I'll turn over here. Yeah, so many trees. Yep, see, this is... Beautiful. Yep, it's kind of cool. Yeah. You think you can find deer with this baby? You should be able to anyway, right? Yeah. planes you can do this in. Yeah. I'm not touching anything. Uh, it just flies straight and level <laughs> without any input. Yeah. It's like being in a couch. <laughs> <laughs> you got another beaver dam straight down here. You can kind of see this one's a lot more visible because it's a little bigger. Yeah. And it backs all the water up into here where the fish are for the for the beaver. Wow. Cool. Yeah, I know that one's here. I've seen, I can walk to that one. This is my house right here. Wow. Pretty close to it. Yeah, we're right on the headwaters. This is all the headwaters to the Manistee River. The Manistee River goes that way, but it all starts right here. he'll have horns. <laughs> yeah. Start to see just a little bit of wind on the lake now. Yeah. Kind of 
start seeing her. Yep. Well, we can feel it just a little bit. I can feel just a little bumpage up here, but not bad. It's kind of nice flying around without the sun beating the hell out of you, too, because just the last few days or a week or so, I've been flying the gyroplane. I have to put 40 hours in the gyroplane before I can uh, uh, take a passenger in it. And uh, this sun just beats on you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, there's no air conditioning in an airplane. <laughs> it stays fairly cool in there because you get, there are some vents, but still. Arrow, do a little descent here. So we're dropping about 600 feet per minute. Wow. You know, it's pretty calm. Yeah. Catch a little updraft there. trail right here well I mean shoot I can see the ground <laughs> yeah perfect go to the fill up some gas cans and you it burns about four gallons per hour so you just pull up to a regular old pump fill up <laughs> yesterday in the gyro plane and did watch some people fishing and stuff and boy wouldn't they be surprised to know that I'm also flying the parachute plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Funny you can really get a sense for how deep a lake is or how mucky it's gonna be. You know, based on what you see. Yeah, see where it gets. Yeah, yeah start. Yeah. Yep. Neat little ponds over here. Really cool area. 
Oh yeah. Well, this uh, so this side's all the uh, Mackinac State Forest, and uh, a lot of this is the Mackinac State Forest as well. But yeah, lots of little lakes around here. And pretty. Neat. Yeah. Cool that you live close to the airport, too. Oh, isn't that nice having an airport right there? Yeah. I never would have thought that when we... Uh... Yeah, there's just a little wind coming this way, I can tell, because I have to put a little bit of pressure. But you just press on the bar. I want to go left, I press left. I want to go right, I press right. Wow. And then that puts a little drag on the chute. Here, I'll show the chute for your whole audience for you. They can see what that looks like. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. And we can turn this around a little bit. Yeah, we do a lot of hunting right where that cell phone tower is on the side of the hill here, the other side. We do a little bit of hunting over there, me and a couple of my buddies. That's cool. It's funny, I'd go over the hill and show you, but we're going to go around it. A lot of times when I go over this hill, you catch this updraft, and I don't like to scare people. <laughs> so we'll go around the side this way. Yeah, it's, it's interesting how you get to know the lay of the land by your home airport. Just the different wind currents and stuff that can pick up. And, you know, it changes day to day, but, you know, you, you kind of get a feel for uh, You kind of get a feel for it. Make sure we get the landing on video. Here's a golf course. Yeah, just a little crosswind it looks like. We'll be landing just a little crosswind down there. That always makes uh, a little fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not too bad though. See how it's starting to uh, just yeah. move a little bit more now. Yeah. yeah, so that's why this again, you know, a couple hours in the morning you get, you typically, because we could have started at 6 this morning and it would have been nice and smooth. Because it's probably 8.30 now or close to 9. So you can get a couple hours. 
and then in the evening, you know, when things start to die down, you can fly right till the, right till dark. This got lights on it for landing and everything. And, you know, I have the radio so that you can turn on the lights on the airport. Start our descent. All right, try this again. Lights of North, power parachute 905 Lima. Gonna turn base and final for runway six. Lights of North. There we go, we're a lot lower now. Go out a little further. There we go, on, on the ground. <laughs> oh, we'll just taxi down here.